I think generally speaking that when we look at the strong women leaders in this country, uh, you may see pockets where you feel uh, it's not just because she's a woman, maybe looking at the case of a speaker of the Nairobi County Assembly, the way she has been kind of uh, removed from her office. Uh, this, in, in our view, we feel that anybody, maybe a woman or a man, who are to be removed out of their office, a due process must be followed. So a group of uh, people cannot just come in the office and say you should go out because in the public service, which counties also prescribe, there is a due process if you want to remove any leader, may it be a woman or a man, a due process will be followed. It's a bit disturbing when, when you realize in Nairobi County, the way Beatrice uh, Erachi, the speaker, was removed, that due process was not followed. The agenda of the day was not to deal with the speaker. They actually, she allowed the meeting to take place being a normal meeting of the county assembly. But when they went into the meeting, they decided to remove her. So since the matter is in court, I may not comment around, uh, much about it, but it's very clear anybody is going to be removed from a, a position in the public service. A due process must be put in place. And in this case, due process it involves giving them the opportunity to be heard and at the same time being given the reasons why they must vacate the office. So we strongly feel sometimes women are more, more vulnerable and sometimes um, people can um, look at areas or point at areas where maybe they think strong women uh, need to be removed out of position, not because they have done anything wrong, but because of their leadership. Their leadership is not kind of being very easily accepted. And I'm sure the court will deal with this matter and the justice will be seen to be done.